Dan Abrams, also Megan McCain, co-host of The View, and Dan, so much unknown right now, but when we find out who this person or persons is, it will reveal a lot about special counsel strategy. Yeah, look, we expected this to be rolling uh, from day one, meaning no one expected that suddenly you were going to get a whole list of people indicted in one day. It was going to be, it was expected to be, it's the way it happens with independent counsels, is it starts with one or two people, they move on, they continue going as such. But the big question is going to be, do they use the typical federal prosecutor strategy, which is you start with the small fish, you go to the big fish. Now, typically, you try to put pressure on someone before you indict them to get them to turn and help you in the investigation. But if they don't help, then what you often do is you will indict them in the hope that that will send the message and you either uh, cooperate uh, or you're going to be in big the trouble. The reason they might not follow the normal strategy is that this is all complicated by the fact that the president has pardon power. Which I think is an enormous... Look, when you read the president's tweets, right, and he's talking about this being a witch hunt, etc., it sure sounds like he's saying, if someone is indicted here, it's going to be unfair. It's going to be something that needs to be fixed. And the president can fix it. The way he can fix it, according to him, is with a pardon. And so many of these people may be saying, I'm not willing to, to cooperate the way that someone ordinarily would because I have a feeling, or I know, that I'll get pardoned by the president. Now, there are all sorts of questions about federal and state law with regard to that, but I think that's got to be something anyone is thinking about in the context of but this. But still, with all that, Megan, you know, as we've been saying about he, the president tweeting over the weekend, oh, firestorm, as John said, and witch hunt and all that, the administration has to be concerned. They have to be concerned, and again, it's going to push them off narrative right now. We're trying to talk about tax reform and tax cuts. He has a big trip to China coming up, but I think it's important when we talk about this. The core Trump base of supporters thinks that this is a deep state conspiracy that started with James Comey. I have friends that are Trump supporters talking to them all weekend. They think this is pretty much a nothing burger. And when it came out with Hillary Clinton uh, coming out that she had ties to Fusion GPS and also had some connections and payments to this Russian dossier, I'm telling you, whatever Mueller finally comes out and shows us, it better be pretty good because his 38% of hardcore supporters, right now they're taking his side. Well, the, right now they are, and the president is clearly feeding that with his tweets, but the new polls out today do show that he's at his lowest all time low. all-time lows. It is, I mean, listen, I'm not telling you that things are all, you know, wonderful and pleasant, Phil, right now, but I am saying that his core base of supporters, there's been this, you know, internet conspiracy that this is the deep state trying to take him down, but he should be very concerned, especially after everything happening last week with attacking the gold star mother Earl David Johnson's wife. That was a very bad narrative going forward. And I just, I don't know, it, it just seems like this administration can't get out from under itself. And no matter what happens, just can't get that legislative win that so many of us want. And we're heading into midterms. Midterms are coming. Yeah, it's right around the mm -hmm. corner. Well, we'll continue to talk about this. And I'm sure you're going to have a lively discussion yes. with you <laughs> this morning. Yes, thank Megan, you. Megan, Dan, thanks so much.